ticket is all in the knife. <laughs> if it's not, if you break the blade, just toss it and get a new one. Um, but yeah, so then I hand cut everything out one little tiny cut at a time and then um, when I'm done, you know, I flip it over and you, you see what you've made. Hi, my name is Lucy Hawk. I'm a paper cutting artist based on Stock Island, Florida. So I hand draw all of my pieces on a um, blank piece of paper. So I take just a solid piece of paper and I draw out all my designs in reverse and then I cut them out with a knife uh, similar to a scalpel like a surgeon would use, like an X-Acto knife. Once everything's cut out, I flip the piece over and you can't see my design anymore. So if you were to look at any of my designs on the back, you would actually see my pencil drawings. I first came to the Keys when I was in college to work at a summer camp and totally fell in love with the environment down here. Um, the weather, the people, um, the mangrove trees really just caught me as being the most exotic plants ever. And then I came back and then I came back again and then I made the full jump um, right before Irma. So um, I've been here full time ever since. So I had never even seen paper cutting and an artist um, that was doing a residency program downtown um, held a class in 2018, a 101 introduction to paper cutting class. And that's how I first learned about it. I um, was not selling art at the time and was like, oh, this looks fun. Like, I'm gonna go try out this class. And I completely fell in love with it. Um, got the list of materials from the artist and went home and ordered everything that night and really fell in love with the medium. It is very time consuming. So like this piece here, um, I think drawing it alone took like five to 10 hours just because of its sheer scale. And then cutting it took an additional like 50 or 60 hours. So, you know, just very slow, taking your time. It's not a medium where you can say, I need to make this painting really fast. Like there's no, do it really quick. It's not a medium that you can do that. First of all, your hand will die. Um, but to like physically, it's taxing, right? It's, a, it's surprisingly a very physical medium on your, your hands, your shoulders, your body. But um, yeah, it does, it does take a while, but I do get into a meditative state. So I um, have a gallery and studio on Stock Island that I co-founded with another artist, Barbara Sage, and that's where my working studio is. We decided to you know, go in together instead of just one of us getting this space and open up um, our own like working studios that you could go through and you know purchase artwork as well. And along that process, we were like, oh, I guess, you know, we should have like a uniformed name. And Barb um, had the great idea of sacred space. And we just loved that because as artists, when you're creating and where you're creating should be a sacred space and it should be really special. We have 16 local female artists. Everything's different. We try not to have two artists that do the same thing. I'm Barb Sage, and I'm also one of the owners of Sacred Space. Everything just kind of fell into place right when everything was closing for COVID. And the next thing we knew, we were opening a gallery. Most of the artists weren't working at the time, so we started carrying other artists, and slowly but surely, we started carrying more and more that were all female, um, and that kind of became our thing. We are so fortunate. Uh, most of our clientele is all local and they are so supportive. We do art classes, and so that's another way that we really kind of try to connect and get people who maybe aren't comfortable creating out of their comfort zone and trying something new. It is crazy to me how excited people are over the classes. Any artist on the island that wants to teach a class, we will open the space for at night so that they can teach the classes. We have artists like Tammy that does our pottery, always has like a two-day class going on, Jenna that does all of our glass work, she's always doing a class. I do some of the resin classes here. Lucy does some of the paper cutting classes. Anybody that's interested, we really try to encourage that. So I do all of the bright colored pieces, all the original whimsy pieces that are all hand drawn, hand painted. They all have a resin top coat so that they can go outside. Then I also do resin work where like the tables and a lot of the resin waves I have throughout. And I'm always trying different things. So I always joke that my work is either bright or inappropriate. So I do have a whole line of like inappropriate fun um, in the greeting cards, stickers, bags, things like that. 
So it makes me happy that people down here really have a sense of humor. And everybody knows somebody that's going to appreciate that. I mean, we all have that friend. I don't know if I could get away with it in normal places, but I'd definitely get away with it down here.